Ladies, gentlemen, and adventurers of all ages, the holiday season is upon us and with it comes a number of things, but I think the one big one is the perfect time to either start playing Baldur's Gate 3 for the first time if you haven't checked it out yourself yet, or in fact the perfect time to return and start a new playthrough, especially for those who have been taking a break since the last time that they played. The beautiful thing with this game is it is actually being constantly improved and built upon by Larian, with substantial changes being made more frequently than you might expect if you are, you know, at all out of the loop. But with the Game Awards happening recently and Baldur's Gate 3 getting a whopping six awards, including Game of the Year, you know, the sort of big important one, it might be more at the forefront of your mind than it was before that happened. You might be thinking about it again. So let's see if I can just push you that little bit over the edge right back into that wonderful world once more. Depending on how long it's been since you last played, there have been some pretty significant additions to the game recently that might capture your interest in themselves. For those who like a challenge, a whole new difficulty was added at the start of the month, Honor Mode, which is designed to be even more challenging than Tactician. It updates the boss fights, giving them new and more powerful abilities and actions unique to them. It shuffles the numbers a bit more in your enemy's favor as you get further into the game. And the big cherry on top of this mode is that you aren't allowed to have multiple save files for the run. You just get one save file. No saves coming of any kind is allowed as a result, so you have to be very deliberate about every decision that you make. As a result, I obviously don't recommend Honor Mode for anyone who's trying the game for the first time, but it could absolutely be a very fun thing to check out for those who felt that they had mastered the game before this was added. Past that, over the last few months, they've been constantly adding on little bits to companion stories, adding on different endings, and even a whole new epilogue section to the end of the game that you probably haven't experienced if you haven't played recently. They've fixed a bunch of the performance issues that the game had before as well, and they've just added so many nice quality of life features, like appearance changing in camps, so many nice convenience changes, and they've done it all in such a speedy manner that even taking just a couple of months away, you've probably missed some really cool changes that they've made to the game. Hell, to show what I mean, these are smaller changes, but I mentioned that there was a big patch at the end of last month, then just over a week later, on the 8th of this month, there was Hotfix 13, which fixed some crashes, some exploits, just generally fixing things that people found to be issues even this far into the game. Just little things, but it shows that the developers are dedicated to constantly cleaning it all up. And then Hotfix 14 happened just a week later, fixing more crashes, more performance issues, and then worked down a Xbox-specific issue that had cropped up as well. On which note, another reason to play the game is that actually it recently released on Xbox. So if you're someone who has silently been watching from the sidelines waiting for a release on that console, if that's the one that you have, you can now join in yourself too. And of course, on top of that, you, that means that you can play with your friends who may not have been able to play beforehand because of that console. We're also currently in the holiday season, during which a lot of people tend to take some vacation time of some sort, at least a few days here or there, that are just much more relaxed than they would normally be. And a fun way to spend your free time, if you have no other plans, is to dive right into a new Baldur's Gate 3 playthrough. For returning players mainly, but even for new players on PC, there is also a thriving mod scene for this game, everything from tiny quality of life upgrades to full-on custom-made classes, encounters, companions, equipment, so many different things that could add on to and alter your game in most ways that you can imagine. So that could definitely be something to consider if you're looking for a specific thing to boost your interest in a new playthrough. And as if that wasn't enough, how about some free mp3s to download of the award-winning soundtrack for this game by taking part in a little memory puzzle advent calendar. This is an official website, advent.baldersgate3.game, and it's just a fun little online game put together by the developers. Each day they unlock a new puzzle with a few cards on screen, flip the card, see the character, then the card flips back over, find the matching pairs. Not a new concept really by any means, but a fun little activity with the added enjoyment of it being Baldur's Gate 3 themed, the characters and enemies from all over the game and so far the rewards from doing this have just been a quaint story that we're only halfway through so I can't review it quite yet, and then free downloads of mp3s for various pieces of the soundtrack for the game. There are still five more days of puzzles from this point, and I wouldn't be surprised if the 24th for example, the reward for that is something a bit bigger just to cap it all off, so I'd say if you care about this game then this is a fun little side activity to do if you have a few minutes here or there. It's cool that it exists and I thought more people should know about it in case you just want to join in on this little bit of holiday spirit and Baldur's Gate fashion. And that's most of what's been going on recently that you may have missed with Baldur's Gate 3. Of course, it absolutely sweeped at the Game Awards, and not many people seem to think that it didn't deserve to. Everyone seems to agree that it was well earned on everything that it did win, and it's just brought the game back into a more public eye after people have started taking a break from it for the last couple of months. With it now being available on a new console as well, it reaches a whole new audience too. The changes that have been made in the game even recently mean it is in the best state that it has ever been in, and it seems to be constantly in 
consistently improving as well. And of course we are in a period of time where most people have a bit of extra time off to maybe even dive into this and have a good time with it. Over time as well, the modding scene for the game has just gotten bigger and more innovative for PC users at least, and this means there are countless ways that you can augment your experience to make a truly unique proper new playthrough. Whether you want Shadowheart to look like Handsome Squidward, or you want to play as a World of Warcraft class instead of a Dungeons and Dragons one, that choice is totally up to you once you dive into the world of mods, and let me tell you, if you want to really experience the game like it is totally fresh, try spending an afternoon just going through all the top mods and just grabbing anything that sounds fun to you. It can take a bit of work getting it all set up and going, but once it is going, it feels wacky in the absolute best of ways. And of course, because you choose which mods you want, it is fully customized to your own wants, your own needs, your preferences as well. And that's just a good reason for you to actually get into it, regardless of your skill level or your thoughts about experiencing challenge within the game, because for people who really love the actual tactical nature of the combat in Baldur's Gate 3 and the complex situations that it can bring, the way that you have to actually think through every encounter properly, Tactician was previously your only real outlet to test yourself, and while it was plenty hard enough for a lot of players for sure, it started to fall a little bit loose as you reach the later stages of the game, the end game if you are, if you are putting together like a proper build to fight things with, which the game does allow you to do, and it has so many cool and complex creations that you can make by messing with different pieces of equipment, putting them together in interesting ways, and just abusing weird little bits of classes that don't normally see a lot of use because of the unique items in the game, and I think that's a really fun thing that you can do, but obviously if the hardest difficulty in your game makes interacting with that just not really work, then it doesn't really function properly. It's not an issue inherently, but it means that there was no way for people to feel like they were actually testing the best of the best builds against things that actually truly would measure their strength properly, and so Honor Mode was forced to be born. They fiddled with some late game numbers to actually make the encounters scale a bit better, they removed save scumming just entirely, so you have to commit to everything that you do, and the coolest part is some additional abilities on the bosses too, changing up some of the more memorable fights to become possibly even more memorable. All in all, I just think that we've hit one of those perfect moments to jump back into the game. Players were obsessed with this game for months after it released, but you can only do so many playthroughs of the same thing in a row before you've just sort of burnt yourself out on it for a bit, and so a lot of people did, and so they took a decent break. I'm just letting you all know now that we've simply reached a point where enough changes have been made, enough things have been added, enough ways to augment your own experience, or maybe even play with a friend who's never been able to play it themselves before, and use that free time of the holidays that you might just have to enjoy just a nice, quaint return to Baldur's Gate 3. I hope you've enjoyed this video then, let me know how your recent playthroughs have been going, or if you intend to start a whole new one soon, and hey, if you have any mod recommendations for people wanting to check those out, feel free to mention them in the comments down below as well. Like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement To take our insanity and turn it into entertainment Yes, I said entertainment twice To reiterate that it is nice To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis When you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage Is, uh, goodbye